Um, now, speaking of perfect, um, Sam Reed. Um, <laughs> this is, so TV, you, you guys know, TV is filled, and film, filled with characters that like people love to hate and hate to love. This is even a guy that I feel like I hate. Like, I kind of love that he's kind of hateful, but what is your magic trick or like source? How are you glamoring us into rooting for this guy? Um, I root for him, so. <laughs> um, I feel like I understand him. Like, you know, I feel like, um, you know, it's really difficult because we can't see you at all. It's very, very dark. So like, I wish I could see you guys, hey. It's so much easier rather than like sitting into like a steering wheel void. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I root for him. Like I, I understand him, but also like we don't like like Jacob's talking about. Like you, we've never really seen his point of view and how he remembers it or how he how he approached a particular. Season three. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because even no, in the no, first no. episode, even in the first episode, when Dreamstat shows up, at first you're like, oh my god, and then and he levels this horrifying threat, which I'm so into, um, <laughs> because I am going to use that line. Like, I'm waiting until you're happy. Um, but, but he doesn't say that. Louis says that. <laughs> it's not Lestat who's saying that. That's Louis, do you know what I mean? And so I think that was kind of like... Louis is putting those words into his projection of what he thinks Lestat might say or how he feels about Lestat. So Dreamstat is kind of like, it's different. It's not necessarily Lestat, so we got to play with it. I could be different, I can like, you know. But one thing we thought about a lot um, was in the vampire Lestat, he says, you know, he didn't want to talk about the softer moments, the gentler moments, the, the times when, you know, it was just pretty chill. Like, you know, that's what he doesn't want to talk about in the book. And so what if he's haunted by those moments? You know, what if he can't not think about those moments? So what happens if their dynamic is, isn't so tumultuous? Maybe it's just a little bit more, you know, calm, casual, you know? So it's more fun to play a ghost that is surprising rather than a ghost who's like really terrifying. <laughs> so now, now that you put it in that way, so you got to play Lestat season one. Louis version of Lestat. Dream stuff. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Louis dream... version of Lestat remembering a right. story that he doesn't fully remember. The, <laughs> the dream. Now you have the dream version, which is Louis. That's true. Yeah. But... You have the dream version, which is Louis, and then we also get a version of Lestat as a young actor. Yeah, uh, Armand's version. Of yes, Lestat. Armand's <laughs> version. <laughs> so Armand's pretty accurate. This is amazing. Like, <laughs> His memory is pretty good. How great is this, good. though? How great is this to get to play, like, this, mu like, literally multifaceted character? Yeah, it's a great joy. And the books are like that, too, you know? And Roland's done this extraordinary adaptation um, and has brought that in. And, like, you know, I don't know how many people have read the books here, but <laughs> there's some discrepancy as you go through them. Like, sometimes you're like, oh, this is a bit different, you know, like, oh, this one's a bit different. And, 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 you know, there was lots of time between them when she was writing them. So how do you kind of, like, make that coherent? And I think Roland's done this amazing job of going, well, it is all about point of view. And as Jacob said, it's not like there is one wrong and one right story. There's not one liar and one truth sayer. It's not about that. It's we all remember things in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can, it's such a joy as an actor to play like lots of different versions of a person. They live forever. I mean, how can we ever, like no one stays the same. Like we always change, um, you know? So do you have any specific moment in the last two seasons where you could point to and say, that's the real Estat? No. <laughs> wow. You've not met the real Estat. Um, <laughs> so in, you're a huge fan of the books. You're a huge fan of Anne Rice's stuff. Um, and this is, um, <laughs> So this is <laughs> long time. And and what? what was your favorite scene to, to recreate from the books? And what was it for you? How was it for you getting to kind of add parts of this character that you've loved so much that are maybe are, are new to the text? Well, you've seen the trailer. So you've seen he's on stage in the 1700s. Um, and and I, I really love that scene in the book because um, he kind of, 
like in the book, he goes on stage, you know, and for the first time as a vampire, and he can't really hack it, and he kind of does all these crazy body mutations, and, <laughs> and it's an amazing scene, um, and I love that scene, and we are not doing that scene. <laughs> it's a different scene. <laughs> um, but I think that's kind of fun because I was like, Roland, what is this scene that's in this script? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Where does it come from? I don't know what, where it is. And he's like, well, I don't know. I think we... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, th I think, I think, I think. I finally start... got the impression. I yeah. to... uh, I've been told you do it. And then there it was, finally. I told you it was good. <laughs> it was good. It's like, I think it'll be fun if Lestat's playing Harlequin, Arlequino, and I was like, but he's Lilo, like, how, what's, what's, what's he gonna do with oh, Lilo? Oh, so thank boring, you so man. Much. He's so boring. Hey, guys. I feel so much better now. I can see you. Let me tell you something from this, this moment. Uh, so I'm in the middle of uh, a production for season two, and I'm in one of those dark places, like, I'm never writing another fucking vampire the rest of my life. <laughs> do this. And there's rehearsal. And where, where's O'Byrne? It was O'Byrne. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right? We walk in, it's rehearsal, right? For the, for, yeah, and and he starts moving, right, as Harlequin. And I, I, I like look over to fucking O'Byrne, and it's like, oh man, I'm gonna have to fucking do this rock star Lestat now, because he can fucking move. <laughs> it's so aggravating. I'm telling you, I watched that scene and got pregnant. Yeah. I was like, okay, well, we're having a baby for season three. It was... Moves like Jagger, right? Yeah, it was just... Kind of it's fun. It is fun to do that because, like, that's so that's like a scene from the books, but it's a scene from our show, and then we get to look at it in these different lights, you know. So, like, Armand's watching Lestat on stage, and they're, you know, like talking, you know, and um, that is a fun thing to adapt, and that's, you know, it, that, that that that's that was a that was a, probably a good memory for me. Yeah. Also, we shot that in in um, the Mozart Theater in Prague, where Don Giovanni was premiered. It's just wild, and we had an entire audience filled with people in this 17th century garb with like feathers and it was amazing. It was like, wow, this is cool. <laughs> For the family over here, um, uh, were there any fun moments offset that, st uh, that happened offset that still make you laugh? I think you should tell that one. The one that you were thinking. No. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <clears throat> um. Um. <laughs> we did have fun. We it's not, fun. It's not yeah. like. <laughs> I have to say, I've never seen two actors in a company behave the way these two guys. Right? Right. <laughs> I got to set when I first met them, and they were like, they were already like as if they were stuck to each other, like <laughs> brothers, and they were dressed in some weird costume that day. I don't know if you remember, and it was, and, a, and, uh, and then I watched them just like, they follow each other around, like whenever they're not in, in scenes, they're like two puppies playing with each other all day long. And it was uh, really something. Especially at Comic Con, that was really Eric, fun. Eric yeah. makes us grown fun. adults. Yeah. Shit up. Also, hang on. Uh, you, Eric was at Comic Con with us. Yeah, yeah. And we were Following we went around. as green witches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was fun. Uh, Delaney, what TV show would each of your characters binge? We'll start. We'll just go down here. Um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> That I'm way. breaking bad, man. That's all right. I think the OA. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say, I think he would watch, uh, and I, I'm, forgive me because I don't really know the names of all of these things, but I think he would watch like, um, like, like the Housewives of the... You too! Yeah. <laughs> and I think he would sit there... You literally took my answer. Well, we watched it together. That was that, yeah, they did. They watched it, watch it together. together. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Louis likes a bit of trash. I think he's like, I think he's, he's just uh, enjoying the mess. 
Yeah. And not being glad it's not him for once. Because they do have a Real Housewives of Dubai. <laughs> they do. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, you guys are incredible. Thank you both, so all, all of you so much. Um, thank